Hello, good afternoon and welcome to the Emmanuel Khan Wealth Building YouTube channel where I share content around forex trading, cryptocurrency, how to earn in dollars online and everything that has to do with wealth building ideas and opportunities. So if you like such content, hit on the subscribe button down below then hit on the notification bell icon so that when I upload new videos you will be notified immediately. In today's video, I want to walk you through uh, or talk to you about, uh, share my opinions, share my insights, my knowledge about a very sensitive and interesting uh, topic that uh, is of paramount importance, especially in a time like this. Okay, so make sure you stay till the end, watch it all through. And then, in the end, I would like for you to equally leave your comment and leave your opinion. Alright, so today we're looking at 7 ways to know a Ponzi scheme. 7 ways to know, 7 ways to spot, 7 ways to identify a Ponzi scheme. Now, this list is not closed, alright? I would need you to add your ideas, add your opinions, share your thoughts in the comment section, okay? Let me know. Uh, if you were to add to this list, what would you add? Which other way uh, do you think one can spot a Ponzi scheme, okay, that I haven't mentioned or talked about or covered in this video, okay? So please, after, after watching, make sure to leave your comment. Now, this will really save you. This video will really save you. We live in a time where, in fact, just... This is 2022 just in a couple of less than three months or about three months there have been so many uh losses due to the rise and fall of ponzi schemes of uh, different platforms that have uh, come in disguise or come disguising as legit uh, businesses and all that and many nigerians have fallen for many nigerians have lost their funds to ranging from hcs fb cotps uh what now ipc did their own saga they are still there crawling uh so i've uh, uh you know no several of them <laughs> i can't even begin to list all of them all right now the 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 the, the the, the genesis of Ponzi schemes, especially in Nigeria, which I'm focusing on today, is, although this, these seven ways, is, it cuts across every nation, every country, okay? But I want to talk about Ponzi scheme in Nigeria, especially. It, it, the genesis began from the advent of MMM. From the advent of MMM. I mean, if you did not experience the MMM saga... Maybe you were in Nigeria then. And even if you weren't in Nigeria, you should have heard about the wave. The wave caught across Africa. The wave caught across Africa and even into other nations of the world. All right, so that was the genesis of, uh, of uh, uh, Ponzi schemes. And if you check carefully, if you trace it, you will discover that most Ponzi schemes, if not all of them, have similar traces, similar uh, uh common denominators common factors most if not all ponzi schemes all right so let's get right into it uh when mmm in fact when ponzi schemes spring up they always do not look like ponzi scheme they try their possible best to look genuine to look put up a face that looks real okay so uh we're going to check some some of so we're going to check we're going to see it as we go on, along in the in the video uh, let me begin by saying this please and please and please this video will save you listen and watch it till the end because i still have some persons who inboxed me uh sometime about two weeks or a week back and um asking get, they, they send me links to platforms asking me what's my take what's my view on this and to some of them i'm just outrightly honest to them and i tell them this is this is ponzi all right this is let's not sugarcoat it let's not uh let's not pretend that we don't know what it is okay and some of them ask me how do you know how do you know how come how do you know so i'm doing this video for my tribe and for everyone out there who may not know how to spot ponzi schemes so that you will uh learn it and be on the lookout for such platforms when they come around number one number one the first way to spot 
a Ponzi scheme or Ponzi platforms is huge ROI. They usually promise, they usually come with the, with the, with the promise of high, very high uh, ROIs. You'll be hearing things like 50% per month, 30% per month, 20% per month, 10%, you know, 90%, you know, you, you just, uh, if, if, uh, so, so, so if a platform is promising you 90% per month, that was like almost 100% per month. You know, it should, it should, it should, uh, it should ring a bell. All right. It should ring a bell. So this is one of the, the first, one of the major ways that Ponzi schemes attracts, uh, attracts their victims they will always come with a promise of something very huge by the time you now hear that wow these guys they are paying 150 percent per month your antenna will just stand your ears will just stand your eyes will just stand everything about you will just stand everything about you will just stand you know your your the greed the greed factor in you okay <laughs> we pick up we pick up the signal and you know so that's the first thing you want to note about ponzi scheme uh, and ponzi platforms they always come promising something very huge number two sometimes they are anonymous their owners are not known their team is not known now some of them they they say that the reason for this is to avoid uh to avoid issues, to avoid people attacking them, to avoid people coming after them, to avoid not to raise eyebrows, blah, 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 blah. Yes, sometimes that is true. But this is one of the characteristics of Ponzi schemes. All right. Most times you will not know their owners. And even when you know their owners, that still does not mean it is not going to be a Ponzi, a Ponzi scheme. Even when you know their own, I mean, so they have been, they've been Ponzi schemes that, that uh, I'm trying to remember one. There's this particular one. Um, what's the name now? <laughs> uh, P, P, PGI, yes. PGI, you know. Uh, I lost a lot in PGI. I was involved with PGI. And of course, that's why I'm sharing this. One of the things that gave gave me and my team uh, a little bit confidence in PGI was the fact, first of all, was the fact that they, they had a face, we knew their team, we knew their, we knew their, their owner, they were having Zoom meetings almost every other day, all right, the owner will come out, give speech, tell you how far it's going, how well they are going, blah, 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 they had good uh, they had a working website, working, you know, system. Uh, you just name it. All right. So it gave us a lot of uh, confidence that, okay, these guys, they, they came out plainly. They are known all over, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> guys, at the end of the day, they still scammed. At the end of the day, we lost big time to PGI. We lost big time to PGI. Lost big time. To PGI, my guys who were uh, in it together with me, we all lost big time to PGI. All right, so even when a Ponzi scheme has uh, uh, a face, it still doesn't mean that it will not be, or, or even if a platform, let's not call it Ponzi platform now, a, a platform just springs up and you know tells you this is what they do, that's what they do, and they, then the owner. Or the the owner shows his face the team members that show their face you could trace them on Facebook you could trace them on LinkedIn you could trace them on different social media and that still does not uh, it's not it's not a, it's not a, a Ponzi bulletproof a, a Ponzi proof rather it's not a Ponzi proof okay it doesn't uh, 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 what's the word now it doesn't mean that they will not scam in the nearest future if it truly is a ponzi scheme or a ponzi platform okay so take note of that uh point number three or the, the third way is heavy they are heavy on referrals when a platform is heavy on referrals okay heavy on referrals or is uh, a referral based system when a platform is heavy on referrals or a strictly referral based system that's a red flag that's a red sign okay that's a red sign that's something you want to Pulse, take a pulse. All right, take a pulse. 
and, and, and double check. Because if, if it's a Ponzi scheme and they, they are not, they are not uh, referral driven, then how are they going to make money? Because Ponzi scheme is robbing Peter to pay Paul. Ponzi scheme, the, 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 the blood of Ponzi scheme is the intake of fresh members, new members. As long as new members keep coming into a Ponzi system, it might last very long. But once they get to a point, a saturation point where uh, the, the, new, the, the new members that are coming in, the inflow of new members is lesser than uh, the current members, and then that's trouble. So it means that there's no fresh money coming in, coming into the system. New members they come in with fresh money. So once there's a shortage of fresh money in the system, then that's where the system begins to have issues. So if a Ponzi scheme is not heavy on referrals, they can't thrive. That is why they always come with heavy referral system incentives, incentives to spoil you up, you know, to lure you to get into the system and begin to refer other people because they need those monies all right so take note of that number four huge compensation plans or bonuses huge compensation plan or bonuses when a company comes on board when a system a platform comes on board and then you check their compensation plan and man it's huge you're, you're seeing that if you hit level 12 or level 7 or level 6 you're getting a ferrari this uh, level 7 you're getting a, a bucati uh, number 11 you're getting a g wagon blah 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 dubai trip america this usa canada man take a pause Take a pause. Buy yourself a chilled bottle of Coke and, and drink and relax. Let your brain cool down. You want to think twice. Once you see that in a system, you want to think twice. That is part of the bait that they use to lure more people in for the need, for the, for, uh, so that uh, there, there will be blood flowing in. I know the blood of Ponzi scheme is what? What did I say it is? Fresh money, new money. So please take note of that. Number five, most times 95% uh, of the time they require your money to be locked in their system this is one way that ponzi schemes can be able to uh cheat you can be able to make away with your money if your money is not locked in their system then when they collapse when it's time for them when it's time for them to when, uh, to exit the system to ex when it's time for them to execute to press the uh, exit button all right the exit plan when it's time to launch the exit plan then how are they going to going to succeed they won't succeed except your money is locked in their system. So Ponzi schemes, when they come up, all right, check very well. They must always have a plan, a structure where your money is tied in their system, is locked in their system, is kept in their system. Sometimes they may even have incentives telling you that if your money is uh, in the system for this long, you get this. If it's in the system for this short, you get this. That's one of the characteristics, one of the traces, one of the red flags about Ponzi schemes. So take note of that, guys. Uh, point number six, or the sixth way to spot and know a Ponzi scheme. Sometimes there is no tangible product or service that they render. And even at other times when they have tangible services or tangible uh, product that they render, it's not transparent. All right? It's not true. You can't really place your hand and say, okay, this is it, that it is. You all you just be doing just speculation, speculations here and there, speculations here and there. There is usually no tangible product that they sell. No tangible service that they render. For example, when MMM came on board, what was the tangible uh, service that it was rendering? What was the tangible product? No. Okay, no. Check out the recent Ponzi schemes that just collapsed. For example, check out the CCAB. What product was it offering? No, no product. What service was it offering? No service. All right, and and several others, guys. Several others. So there, there's usually and and even at times where there is a physical product, uh, uh, of course you hardly see a physical product. But even at times where there is, there's you, if you check very well, you see that there is no transparency somehow in the system. All right, this is another red flag. All right, for Ponzi schemes. Now number seven, which is the the last, uh, which is the least but not the last. All right, is the least here, but it's not the last. Okay, like I told you, it's an open list. I want to hear from you. What are other ways to support Ponzi schemes? Let's share. I want to learn from you just as you've learned from me. I want to hear your opinion. Okay. I want to know what your thoughts are, what you think about it. Okay. It could be helping somebody out there. So leave your comment in the description of this video. All right. Now, the seventh way is most times they are always new. There's no real track record. Okay. So once some, maybe some, uh, some group of friends, group of guys come together, or these Yahoo boys come together and they want, they, they want to scam. 
of course they're going to, need to create a product uh, create a website all right create a business sometimes register and all that okay and uh, if you go and check you'll see that it's just six months one year uh, and if you check the activity is there is really no track record there is really no track record even if you hear things like it has been working it has been working for XYZ is there a track record of sustainability over that period of time okay so that is another way to support Ponzi scheme now let me say this as a as a bonus okay in this video let me say this as a bonus in this video now so many people get it twisted they get it they, they get it wrong they miss it when they base their judgment of uh, a re-platform on certifications now that a platform has CSC uh, document uh, has a whatever document you might think about even if it has uh, a document from Harvard uh, uh, University listen or Harvard Business School listen certification does not mean that a platform will not scam in the near in the nearest future no in fact if you want if you were if you were a a corn artist you're a, you're a scammer and you want to scam a, a group of persons you want to scam uh, a nation or, or a, a business or whatever wouldn't you try all in your power to look real as as best as possible one of the things that they will need to do to look real is to get certified but what you fail to know is that certification does not ensure any platform from being a Ponzi scheme. It's not an insurance. Okay? It's not an insurance. It's just one of their ways to appear real. One of their ways to paint themselves as being real. It's not an insurance. So stop being uh, hooked up to certific uh, certification. Alright? Stop asking, is, are they certified? Let me see that certificate. That is, that is Baba Dash. It doesn't hold water. It doesn't hold water. All right, we've had several platforms that has MMM has certificate. <laughs> in fact, some people carried their certificate and hung on their walls in their offices. Some of these forest companies that came up uh, sometime last year, or uh, late last year, or even early this year, that came up. If you go to their their offices, more than they had, uh, they had offline offices. If you go there, you will see certifications on their walls from different bodies. CSC is there, you name it. But that still uh, wasn't an insurance. Okay? That still wasn't an insurance. To say that uh, they wouldn't scam you or make away with your money guys are you are you following this all right so please take note of that for those of you who have fixated on certifications that's not that's not uh, any way to spot a fake or a real business platform all right so these are the seven ways of spotting a ponzi scheme that i thought to share with you like i said i'd like to hear from you in the comments below what your take is and what your opinion is as well then next before i leave you i've heard some person say edp 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 <laughs> edp is debate if it if it's not paying how would you want, how would you get somebody a fresh person to come in so edp is not an excuse it's not uh, an insurance as well if it's a ponzi scheme they must first start paying and of course in, at the back end they are doing uh, rock peter pay poor rotating the money the funds so if it's not paying then how can it how can it how can they thrive all right so saying it they pay is not an excuse doesn't make it legit it doesn't make it legit i remember uh the saga of the kotipi saga you know uh, the first time i did a video about, about kotipi about uh, about kotipi is how that it was a ponzi scheme and the things that i saw the things that made me declare as a ponzi scheme all right after that, I, I got so many calls, I got so many uh, test messages, inbox messages and all that. People saying, ah, but sir, he's paying, Mr. Khan, he's paying, Mr. Khan, he's paying, blah, blah, blah. Somebody showing me a screenshot of how he paid this guy, he paid that guy, blah, 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 blah. They kept pressuring me and disturbing me, you know. And one uh, underlining thing that I kept saying is, that, listen, if it's not paying, it can't thrive. It won't, it won't sell. They need those testimonials. They need those testimonies to be able to lure much more folks much more vulnerable and greedy folks into the system they need that testimony they need that testimony all right so haven't known these guys now it is now left for you to make your decision when you are interacting with a platform i'm not here to tell you don't invest in this platform or don't invest in that platform i i am not your financial advisor so I, and i don't have a right to tell you how to use or spend your funds or your money i didn't give them to you all right so that's uh, strictly your decision to make. Mine was to just point out the seven factors or the seven signs 
and yours is uh is is in your the ball is in your court to decide if you want to if you see a platform and you see these signs uh, okay uh, in the platform and you still want to go ahead that's all up to you but whatever you do be wise enough to 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 research before you progress all right and as best as possible you want to avoid these things because it can get very addictive it can be very addictive and you just keep losing money you know you you get a little you get a little here get a little there and you know so so as much as possible you you may want to totally avoid uh engagement with such platforms maybe in in uh, another video that i'll do maybe i'll list i'll do a video to help you to list out some uh, or real legit uh, businesses with track record that you should get involved in if you mean business and if you're looking for sustainable income all right maybe i'll do that or maybe you can yes i think i'll just i'll just uh, find a time to create that all right you can remind me later on just so i don't forget all right so that will be the end of today's video remember to subscribe if you haven't then hit on the notification bell icon so that when i upload new video you will be notified immediately till i come your way again next time stay blessed